You know, we're taught as women, open the car door. If right. you don't, he's All not right. a gentleman. We're taught that. We're conditioned that. Even as guys who used to run the streets become fathers. Right. If, you're, if you have a daughter, you didn't do it, but then you turn around and tell her she better follow these rules that you never applied to yourself. Right. And then now the gentleman that's coming to meet, you, you know, to take your daughter out, now you're like, oh, he better open a door for you. I'm going to bust him in his head. You know, you're like, whoa. Wow. But you never did it, so. I understand. I understand. Okay, we we know what you shouldn't do, but we haven't figured out the simple things so far to do <laughs> that w women usually would say when they go out on uh, the number one thing I hear about going out on a date. The first thing, even before you go on the date, is to what you do on the date. Okay, but well, let uh. me go to something because you know Mac bring up a good point. Um, he retarded for that one, but. I do like what he said, but I'm going to address it in a different way. Uh, what if your date don't have a car? Would that be a deal breaker? It all depends on where you Has are. Has that at. been a deal breaker for some guys? When you know when you're younger, it didn't matter as much. No, it as didn't, it, but and that's the part of the fun right. part. When it, you go out on a date, it's, it's less different. catch the bus or the metro right. to the movies because you don't have a chaperone. <laughs> PMC rolled up in a big wheel. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> you see, you see what happens uh -huh. when guys are already tainted, right? Yeah, that's they're, okay. They're he, he he just needs some some medication. Right, right. That's okay. No, he continue. didn't take his today, but you know, uh, no. But what I mean, that was the fun part. Yeah. When you were younger, right? When you get older, expectations are your certain age, right? I guess there would be preconditions they, as well. They want you have a job, so if you have a job, you should have a vehicle to roll in. They say you should have. You should. It, it you should hear the keyword should. should. But accomplishments right. don't relate to a vehicle only because if you're in New York, for example, we know people in New York go like, I don't even need a car. Yeah, really. they constantly they walking. They, they're always in so different. So I'll meet you at LA. LA. In similar mm -hmm. metros, you may need that. But right. even if you did have a thriving metropolitan here with what we call various forms of transportation True. the culture here is i need to know what you got well see like in That's atlanta well in atlanta people take the metro right you know it gets you to and from why right. waste gas when you could just get on for a dollar something right you know or a day pass whole I whole got, day i got one for you wonder if a guy picked you up you didn't know that he had seven figures plus but he came and picked you up in a taxi but you didn't know he had that money that kind of cash what would you do <laughs> He picked you up in a taxi. He knocked on the door, says, we're about to go to dinner, baby. Bam. What's your first impression? <laughs> I know what it is. I know. See, you're not being honest. You're not being honest. I was going to answer. <laughs> no, but you ain't being honest. You think uh -huh. you're too long. Uh-uh. Because my reaction was, damn. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is the part I love. See, the real comes out. <laughs> no, it real always comes out. It's just, I'm just, the, I was you, like. You stutter it. Uh, you know, because I was thinking of the whole thing. It was, I was just, re, just playing it back in my head. Just the image. Right. <laughs> and I'm trying not I'm to just, laugh. I'm just saying. And my first impression was, damn. I know. First impression. It, first, first thing it tells you. But. What? Uh -huh. It depends on the woman. I have. Been in situations where the guy was like, you know what? We're going to go bike ride. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. He, but he didn't tell me that the bike was the ride. Right. I understand. And I'm like, what? I'm thinking it's an activity. Right. <laughs> no, I understand. <laughs> no, I understand. <laughs> I understand. I'm all gone home for it. <laughs> it's an activity. Okay, I'm, I'm down. Let's go. Right. But he show up again to the house with a, with a bike again. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, some guys do this. Now, I have brothers. I have six brothers. They hit me to some game. So it's like, uh. But, you know, I've always been the, Won't okay, you hit us to some game? I, I'll, no, I'll, you know, I've always tried to give people benefit of a doubt. Because if you assume, you make an A-ho out of you. Well, so we, we I don't want to, you know, it's a lot of things that come into play. You know, the guy showed up with the bike and I was like, oh, okay. But I had expectations. Right. True. Yeah, you did. And so then the second day he shows up, bike again. Now my thing is, what the hell? Yeah, that's some, it's something not right. And then I'm like, okay, good. wait a minute. Now I want to know. Why? Now you have a nice job. Why are you riding a bike to my house? <laughs> this was when I was younger. You know what's important? And you know what he said? What? He said, because my car is getting 
fix is in the shop. Right. Woo, thank God. Now, right. what if he didn't have a car in the shop? Now, it's up to me. Well, what are your plans? Rent a car. You could do that. I'm fine with that. Right. See, do you, but my you're thing learning. is, I'm, but my, I'm fine. What I'm saying is, I'm fine with that. My thing is, for how long? <laughs> Max says bullshit. No, I don't care about what Max <laughs> say. I'm, I'm more so. How long? See what's important. No, see, but Mac, you know what? See, because I'm about to get personal now. <laughs> no, bullshit my ass, Mac. <laughs> Wait a minute, don't. We want the loving side of Nico. No, you gonna hear it all. I'm giving you every angle as possible. But you know, people have to learn that about me. That's just like people didn't know that I garden. Well, you know what, Miko? Here's no, a good you, point. No, I mean, but people see the you know radio talk show host, but you don't know that. I, okay. I have a passion for gardening. You're talking about information. Right? All we're talking about is that the guy, he's not affording the information of what's happening. He's just No, but see, seat. because I, I see people make those mistakes, yeah, right. and I don't want to make that mistake in that way, you know, sticking my foot in my mouth, because there were times that, you know, I wanted to jump down a person's throat about something, and just something told me to just wait. Let, let, and when I waited... It was a real deal situation. So for the ones that are the ones that are doing it and really in those situations, I can't really answer for that. I can't speak on that. Let me help you Am out. Am I wrong for that? No, 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 no. First of all, I, I set up a situation where it's simple. It wasn't to be pro pro women or men. I said guy comes. Taxi. But you know what, what? it boils down oh, to, oh, Victor. You set up a, a setup that was just <laughs> No, wait a minute. Let me say this. In New York. This would not be a setup question. Oh, they're hard out there. No, no, no. It wouldn't Lots be a stuff. No, no. Miko. It's a yes or no, no, no gray area. Miko, Shit. Miko, Miko, if somebody picks somebody up in New York in a taxi, they, it's, that's not, it's, it's not it's complicated. It's not a bad thing. It's not complicated, right? No. So why is it set up here? Because we spoiled. Is that it? That's one. Okay, okay. That's all it is. I mean, See, all I'm saying is, is it's always an area. If you're in farmland... You may be looked at for a different reason for how you go about your socialization. True. You know, it's different. But in L.A., we know the hierarchy here is everybody wants to look like they're coming up in the game. Well, so that the, don't the, matter to me uh, in, no, that, no. In, that, would, in that direction was, as far you, as the dating. What was that, the answer? I said as far as dating. What was the answer for the taxi man? Damn. <laughs> See, you didn't see because I was like, on the first day. Wait a minute. I'm waiting for the answer. Stop me doing the analogy. Oh, damn. Because I would have tried to at least something. You see? So you already but, gave your answer. Your but, answer. Yes. Uh, yes. But then when the person, you know, you have to. That's why I said I didn't want to stick my foot in my mouth. That's how I felt. That's not the reaction I gave that person. Right. But that's how I felt. But when he came again the second time, and I'm like, what the hell? Oh, well, no, yeah. it's not, no, it's not the. See, I'm not worried about the second. Yeah, but that's still. I want to know the first reaction was, you had. Damn. No, the first reaction was, was was it a come down? Yes. Yes, it was. That's all it was. Now, like now, I thought it was a joke. No, no, no. Watch this. I've been trying to get. You know, I'm not going to tell her where, where I'm going with this. That's, I'm, see, my part was I was trying to find the one thing that makes her feel wonderful about the first date. Notice that fellas, didn't make me we, feel wonderful. I didn't get to that part yet. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> We've been going through this whole section. We're about to close it out and go to the last one. But this one was about finding how simple dating can be. And I was trying to find that one thing that makes Miko will go, yes, you know, thumbs up. Yeah. You notice we haven't been able to get that out of her yet. <laughs> so it's okay. See. No, because you're going to have some out here trying to do it. No, no, no. That's no. my answer. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. No, there are mm -hmm. many women that I talk to, you with men, that you can simply say, here's the things that women love. Simple. And I gave you a test for a first date. You took it down a pathway of, I'm beyond the dating. I'm in the other area. Yes. Well, we're talking about dating. Oh, you don't like not dating. Not my cup of tea. You no, don't like I don't. Notice yesterday's subject was, don't leave the fun out of dating. I wouldn't say I don't like dating. I just, my <laughs> tolerance for it is. Not good. Right, yes. now, right now, it's not good when you show that you're not really a Dater. equal player in having fun in dating, right? Equal player. No, do you know the fuck you did? What you talking about? Did you, did you use the F word on this show? Oh, did I? Yes, you did. I'm sorry. <laughs> Look, oh. <laughs> Scratch that. <laughs> uh, look, to remind everybody what we're doing, it's the. It's I, just really, I, I apologize. Oh, no, you don't have to apologize. I apologize. No, no, that's, that's oh real God. talk. It's real talk. This, this is really what we call the Meekle Williams show, but not on blog talk. 
here at Pax Stereo Morning Coffee as Thank she you. sits in as the main host and plays for Mario Hensley, who basically will be returning next Monday and he'll follow up with all the news and updates and also the man out there doing things and contributing to relationships, yes. friends, people are in need, the more important things. This show goes on, but life is more important. We thank Miko for this because she's bringing over what we call an unscripted presence with no requirement. She gets to sit in that big chair and just deal with it. Yes. She uses me as a facilitator target or she can ignore you me. Bounce off all each day. Other. Yes. This is about preconditions and expectations. Which we all have and everything that yes. we do it seems that those t terms follow us we've talked about <laughs> we talked about preconditions dating and other scenarios about what a woman will want on the first date the most important thing oh, no, no, hold on don't let Matt get you there no Matt yes he, he, he's gonna take you there all the no time. he's he being funny but yes yeah, the guy yeah. did yeah I know uh, yeah I know he busting up right he is yes the guy did say ask me for money to get the car that's the right shop. no look I <laughs> We had somebody on the show who said they got invited to a date. They met up at the date. For safety reasons, some women say, I'd rather meet you at the location. Right. And then the guy invited the date and said, I, you know, he just, he assumed, he said, here's my money from our part. Oh, he went Dutch. But only after the receipt or the bill came. So she didn't know. And then after, and I'm not going to say who it is. Ooh, but see. but Ooh. experiences like that happen where you go, wow, that first date impression really, it sets the tone. Now, what if she didn't bring no money? It's the, you see. know what, do you know what was more? Yowzer. Let me say something. I know That's somebody. I'm glad my daddy. Love you, I, daddy and grandpa. I, rest in peace. I know, I know something well. is more important than that from um, women who have talked about. Meeting at a date for safety reasons, which they prefer. Yes, and which they said I've the been part still with that. The part that they said will really turn them off is when they walk out of the restaurant and the guy lets her walk. Guy goes to his car and she goes to him. He does not walk her to the car. Oh, uh, is that big? Yes, it's very big, isn't it? Yes. So you notice this is not you about money. About my safety, I'm not going to even get in. Just walk me to the car. Right. I'll watch you go back to yours, and when you get in, when you open your door. Then I'll get my car, too. I right. mean, some guys, like, they're shocked when I go out on dates. Right. If I'm getting in the car, you open a car door for me. I was taught by both of my grandpa and my father and my, actually, my stepfather as well. They're very old school. That when you get in the car, when once he opened that car door for you, you are supposed to open up that car door for that man from the inside and i always always make it a That's point a to do deal. that because and and a lot of women don't know why i'm just blessed important. to understand right. from three generation of men yeah why i'm supposed to open up that car door right and Listen. i constantly do it and yeah. men freak out when you know, they see that they're right. like well, you know who does that, that a lot you know uh, you know when you, you have friends friends with women you know, they hit that all the time. They got it. My, my friends, just friends, open that door, bam. If I, you know, I'm over there and I'm opening the door, I always do that. I try to do the best I can when right, I'm opening the door. Right, same here. But they are on it. But right. when you get into the relationship, I think people sit back to say, let me yeah. see what you're going to do. Yes. Wait and see. Yes, okay. I'm guilty of that. Yes. <laughs> and I'll start it'll be seared in my head report number one you yeah know, Mac it's, it's like a report card I'm I'm grading you boom 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 yeah all check maybe marks. the car was stolen Mac okay I got you man you, he's on another planet uh, but PMC, I told you you need medication hey, PMC is just sitting there going until you help me with my situation I'm stay quiet right okay, now that's smart fine. man that's fine I understand okay. that alright now we no gotta we gotta we have our last quarter here from this is Precondition and expectations. We may hit a subject here that may not fit in to that area. Fit. It may not because people don't no. think of it that way. Well, I'll I take that back because from my previous show that I did, it does fit for I, those particular people. I, and like they I have said, expectations and or, preconditions. Right. I said so may or fits, may not. It does fit right. for that crowd. Right. But all I'm saying is. It does. How, is it very, uh, when we talk about these terms, you know, when we say sex and relationships, we know most people who are dealing with sex and relationships always go really over to the relationship side. They go to, because they want to, the bonding, everything's working right. Most well, people, most people table yes. what the problems are and what's going on. Well, we're going to take the sex side of mm -hmm. it because it is part of a relationship yep. and take it to another level about 
are people uncomfortable with people who have fetishes, sexual fetishes? Is that a is that something that is hard to discover? How do you find out if you're a person who's way out of the box and the person you're dating with is not and they're conservative? How do you come from a meeting of the minds? Such an interesting topic. It's discovery. <laughs> See, this is, look, <laughs> what? You're rocking. You're reminding, you know what? You got to stop rocking. <laughs> no. All right. Now, look. I had to rock on that because, <laughs> woo. It, it, listen, I don't have that's the That's an answers. animal. That's a it's, beast by itself. itself. Right. You know this. Yes, I do. You know this. That's why you're funky behind and making it. Oh, I, God. I look, I'm just talking about what exists. And I know that, first of all, most people know what happens behind closed doors is your closed doors. That's your person. It used to be. That don't say that up. now well, based on I'm how saying, things are because well, we don't even want to go that right, route. We're going to be safe on right, that one because, you know, you start mark, hitting right, the market of the. Right. Let me say it this way. Of the sex, same old sex right, on sex. So right. leave that alone. Look, I know people are searchers. I know that there are men who go out there and say, I want to search for women that are the hotness. We know that. We know women search for men who are coming up well off. We know well off. There's a group that searches for them. Right? Oh, you're okay. nice. You said oh, group. I like group. that. It's All right. a group. <laughs> All right. But there are also a group who search for people who are sexually outside the box. We just term it fetishes. To find that group is not easy. You know, you can go in, in Southern Cal. You know, you can go to Bel Air, Beverly Hills, Hollywood, suburban areas. You can go to areas where, you know, the you know, economically enriched play, have fun, do their business. You, you go in that area, you're more apt to be exposed. You know that when guys go to clubs or socialization where there's music, fun, party, they're going to find women, mm, the hotties. Yeah, you can't and, find and, that and, in and, Atlanta. It's, 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 all it's all mixed up. Right. Now, for money, you just go to, like we said, the enriched area. But when it comes to people going like, I'm, yeah, I'm a gentleman, I got the money, I got the romance, mm. I got everything here. I'm mm. working it. I got it all. But what? I also, what? and I also am outside the box, and I need to know that you're there with me because it's just something that I am. Very difficult. How does a man approach a subject, table, even try to introduce that part of him? It's interesting because I know some people within that realm. Yeah. And I have these conversations with them and they kind of give hints to see if the other person that they're on a date with is catching on or they or they wait till an issue comes up or a topic and they voice their opinion about it. Right. You know, and that, you know, they kind of segue into it. Um, they don't really say outright right. what it is because they don't want to scare the person away, but they want the, the person to know them for them first and then bring on mm -hmm. extra.com. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. That's what I call it. Extra.com. Extra right. So, mm. yeah. I, hard. It's a hard subject, isn't it? It's not a hard subject. Actually, no, it's not. It's not. It's not a hard subject for me, but for some people it is because it's like a, a me, group within me, itself. Can, can I say that? A yeah. group within itself. And they tend to hang around people that are like-minded. So to answer that question you pose, if you're not like-minded and you're not open to it, right. at least open to it, right. it won't work. You know, it's, because it's, they, it's, they, they terminate you right, right on the spot well, if they feel that you're going to try to but we're talking, change them. We're talking about relationships too now. Right. And this all feels, filters right into it. If right. you're trying to change them, they are not going to rock with you because right. this is, they're setting their ways about this. Right. This is something they can't live without and that it's a must. Right. It, is, it, it drives them. Right. For what reason, I don't know. Let me ask you, this is right. interesting. And I, 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 and I absolutely can understand it because I think all these conditions exist in other areas and not just sex and relationships. People are conditioned to say, this is where I'm at. If I, you don't roll with me this way, I can't relate with you. Right. This is just another area. But when it comes to relationships, right. this is different because fetishes, the word fetishes is so, I don't know if there's a better word they could use. For no, it, it is actually what it is. And a lot of people don't understand that there's good fetishes and there are very extreme fetishes and there are some that are not so extreme. Let me ask you this. As, as a woman grows and, and becomes more in tune with her mate, is she more inclined to say 
be conservative or always take me on a journey of discovery? I personally can say yes, I do. I personally cannot say for other women. Right. Because we don't all. That's right. Don't rock the same that, way. Right. Yeah. What Miko do may yeah. be in certain points extreme.com. Right. Right. I understand. You know, but I know how to shift the gears. Now, there's some people that are extreme.com and stuck and don't know how to shift that gear. Right. And it's some that don't want to shift. So it's just a matter of who you're with. I wonder, I know from my point of view, if a man, if a, if a woman sat there and said, you know, Victor, and I was all in the relationship and the whole thing, whether it's a dating or not, and, or even if it's a relationship or not, and I thought I was doing my thing, and I really thought I was bringing it, and she says, you know, Victor, I mean, I like you a lot, but, you know, you're, you're conservative. <laughs> See this part? What? See, See I my think, face? Wait, 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 like, wait a minute. Oh, no, no, no. Wait a minute. Here's this: the, guys will never, for the most part, tell anybody else that they were slammed that way because you know a lot of times men may or may not. It's up to them to wrap a story around that always favors them. Now the real is it could happen another way. Now here's my question: It's different for women though. If a man is out of the box. As it relates to discovery, because isn't the first thing hap happening, and I'm going to relate this with fetishes, that a woman's going to say first thing is who have you been with or who are you with? Because if she's not into that and that's where he's at, is she more trusting or she's finding out there's some pushback? Finding out that there's some pushback. Hmm. And no, she's not trusting. Not unless she has some hidden... Uh, things within herself that she just need the person of that particular lifestyle to step into her zone and turn that switch on. Well, that's a good point because the only reason why I say that is because I think we all in some times in our Us relationship usually lives. Usually if they're not introduced or they haven't been around or conditioned to whatever it is that the person is that's bringing. That's different. Yeah. That's different. I'm talking about, see, there's some times where, for example, say now, for It guy, might be somebody that has right. not never been introduced no. and they always secretly been wanting to right that's totally like, different yeah yes. that will work right but this is where see the shift for a, for a right. minute though right let me say this people get complacent in a lot of things mm -hmm. and when you get complacent a lot of times you get conditional right true wonder if all of a sudden the guy now i'm gonna say put in the guys because typically from my experience in the past when all of a sudden you say hey i want to try something very rare are you given in many cases, depending if you're dealing with a conservative situation, the credit for trying is usually, why are you doing this? Where did it come from? We've They're known asking. It, yeah. yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, it, I, it, I got it, hit with that. Okay. So my point is, if you're on this side, if you're if a discovery person, fetish, experimental versus yes. a person conservative, is that a good match? And if it is going to get past the initial dating and it's in the relationship and if, all of a sudden you want to go there, is it wise to or do you have to try to embrace some confidence? What, what do you do? You will, uh, on their end, embrace yeah. confidence? Yeah, you do. Okay. Because they're not, they're like babies with it. Okay. You know, you just, but at the same time, you know, uh, see, ouch. <laughs> you know what, Mac? There are certain things that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I got to read this one. No, you better not. <laughs> but no, I mean, you have to talk them through the process. But it has to be something that they're willing, willing and open minded about. If right. they're just, no, I'm not. No, mm -mm, ain't no. Usually. But it's a cloud now. Isn't those it? are the type of people that actually but, do. Man, now watch this. Or if they get some liquid courage, if they they talk all that mess. But when they get some this. liquid courage, they the first liquid ones. But if they don't, now if they're right. adamant about it, and let's say that they don't want to, or they just you know what, I can't do it. No, it's not going to work. Here's the problem, and, you, and, 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 and there's some conservative people I know that, that there's a problem with this. You know what it is? What would it be? Once you go down that road, if you're there's in no a relationship, once you do that. 
the next coming together you don't think it's on each other's mind what one person says what i'm yes, not going is. to do it is on the person who presented it knowing that they can't do yes will the relationship be healthier or will it be a cloud forever lingering it'll be stag stagnant okay until one gives in okay and and if one doesn't give in, it's it, a done deal. It, 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 here's the other thing: it's an icebreaker. It could break the relationship. It's not. It could. It would. Okay. It would break it. It's no. If if there's those no meaning to the mind, and no one is actually willing to uh, bend a little, at least hear the person out. But right. even if they hear the person out and they're still reserved, it's not going to work. Right. It just won't. Right. They're going to go off and find that person that could actually match them in that area right. or that wants to explore right. and have no problem with it. Let me ask you this. Women want men to lead, right? Well, hell yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> so the man has to take the lead. Is it better for the man to say, if you're going to lead, then you have to lead on discovery? True or not true? Ooh, I got so, turned on. on oh, yeah. Said, okay. Did you, okay. <laughs> true or not true? <laughs> See, see. On one hand, if the man's going to take, a, he's going to take a chance, right? Because he's supposed to be in the role of doing this based on the conditions that a lot of people. Well, believe he know, in, he the needs gender to know, role. He needs to know how to read the woman. Well, he's reading her, and he's going. Now, I'm going to take the role. If he's just doing it just to see if she's going to, no, you know, no. Because you do have some out no, there that's not. That's just I, not I'm that. Not, they're not, not that life. Come no, on, no, no. And I'm, we're front. No, see, I'm taking it to the part where both parties are equally right and good at this time oh really right for being conservative right for having and they are together i would ask oh, and, I, would, man, I would want the, I, and, I want him the to man, take the lead but at the same you? time i would want him to inquire about how do i feel about something like that so, so if, he'll no go boom full force but then you know crazy old miko she'd be like well let's go okay so one of the guys sits back and say okay look i'll tie you up to the bed i want a chicken run around in the room that's fine <laughs> And we're going to eat it after, you know, we go. <laughs> okay. that, so you want sex in dinner in the bedroom. Wow. <laughs> go just, figure. Just, Where's the dessert? Uh, Is that me? No, oh, just <laughs> because you know what? There, there are women who actually are being pressed probably more in many ways. Men are under the pressure to always make sure you deliver. There's one thing that's always over their head. They're thinking. Not all men. You don't That's have length, to. The length well, of time. Mm. But women are, I've learned just from friends. Now, I don't know. I'm just from my friends. The women I know says, can we just break, break up the same old thing? Can we find other? Women are, are, are more like. Combinations. A, a room or a different location means a hell of a lot to them. Right. Whereas men sit back and say, can I just get the act on? Why do we have to go in another room? <laughs> can we just be right, get it here? Whatever the case well, may be. Well, because we're mood setters. Right. So if. You're constantly doing the same thing repeatedly in the same place. I want to break, uh, open other. I want to bless the no, house. I know what you're saying. I, yeah. I'm not saying. And look, I, I, I think want to be able to go that. in a tub and, but, but you know, you, all of these, they give you a different. That's location stuff. That's right. not a big deal. For, but no, that's for, not for the guys, yeah. it's not. Right. But for women, it could, it, could, it could change her mood and want her to do move forward what about uh, you know i remember the thing about i mean if you try to do something in the cemetery it's like some people like that that's a fetish i know a, that's a scary fetish. i know i know a fetish uh as it relates to you know growing up younger almost getting caught meaning going to places yeah, where you almost get caught you can yeah, relate with that yeah. right? <laughs> <laughs> that's it <laughs> Be like, come on, let's go in. The, let's go in the, right. you know, in the closet, or you oh, know, your parents are supposed elevate, to be gone elevator. for uh, that too. Yeah, yeah elevator. For, yeah, uh, yeah. I know. Elevator. Late, yeah. Push the button. Stop it. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> so now you see why I said the fetishes are not oh, what God. people think all the time is what you want. That's wanting. why I said there's good fetishes and there are bad fetishes and there are stream and there's extra dot com. It just depends on. I mean, because a fetish could be one always a woman want her hair pulled. Right. During sex, that's a good fetish. Yeah. But if you have a bad neck, sweetie, that's not a good fetish. And look, that's not a stretch for me. We're talking about... See, or, we're just, or getting yeah. a getting a belt and whacking right. her at the same time. Watch, that's a fetish. Watch, watch but this. that's bondage. Wonder if, a, you know, a man... Some people like a woman, pain. A woman can say, I can't even get started unless I tie your legs, the man's legs, and the arms up. You have, you have to be restricted. Ooh. Okay, think about it. That may be a fetish for a woman who's going... And the man is going... Dominatrix, right? You see? Okay, that's yeah. That's what I'm saying. Everybody has their fetishes. And, <laughs> and think about guys who got to deal with that as well. And, Unless they're really into that, 
Some are going to go, I hope it does it. But wonder if all of a sudden she goes into the closet and pull out some tools and techniques. Ooh. It's totally different, right? Okay, I'm sorry. Matt got my attention on that last one. <laughs> I was like, oof. You know, you know what? First of all, when he said Bobby Blue Bland. I know who that is. Yeah, that, that's what got me. Because yeah, I, I was think like, he's pull that I, out. I saw that, but I was like, everything else. Oh, wow. You know, yeah. And he d- didn't know I like jazz, though. Yeah. And, and blues. Oh, yeah. And just to remind you guys. We're talking about preconditions and expectations. And I truly believe that the best way to have successful, whether it's dating, relationships, hold on, relationships or anything, is by effective communication. I didn't say you have to say everything in the beginning. Effective communication is probably the key to break down some of these barriers. But sometimes you're going to run into a block or a wall where some things you just don't match. Right. So to your point, I didn't want to interrupt you. When that happens, then you might as well not waste time in those areas. You might as well not. Yeah. (laughs) Mac is a trip and a half. Wait, look. (laughs) (laughs) Most people don't remember. I actually got that from a movie. And I can't remember who it was, and I don't want to kill the names, but I died. I mean, come on. People like watching True Blood, and what they do on True Blood is some people like that fetish. Right. They want to put in some teeth and bite on you right. while they're having sex. It's the, like, right. well, hold up. No, I, I got this. The chicken in the room or the rooster was funny to me when I saw it on this movie. It was just killing me. What because was it, a porno? Of, no, no. It was a, wait a Why minute. Why do you say it like that? Let me say no, this. No, 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 no. Because <laughs> you remember in Living Color? Remember that old program in Living Color? Remember Tommy Davidson? The okay. The comedian? It's Rain and Man and then there's the Fly Girls effect, and then it's the detective head. And I can't remember. I, no, I can't. No, 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 no. I mean, you, we're talking about the right sitcom it's show. Right, but, but I'm trying to figure out. Whoa. He was a skinny comedian, light. When I say light and weight and everything, but I'll get to it. I don't want to okay, rain on it too much. That. He, the killer was is that he was in a movie and I can't remember the movie, and he had a buddy, and they were trying to date women, and then one, not Tommy, the other guy, had a fetish, and his fetish, and the woman's all in the bed and everything, and he's doing his thing, and she's all and hey, the chicken bothered. run around. And no, no, she's all in the moment. She says, "Oh yeah." And then while she's all in the moment, he says, okay, hold on. She says, where are you going? Where he says, hold on, baby. He goes in the closet and pull out a chicken. And he says, let me throw the chicken on the bed while we're making love. What? <laughs> I'm sorry. Wow. <laughs> what if the chicken, like, bite his nuts or something? Uh, excuse me? I mean, ooh. But, yeah. <laughs> I'm t- I, I didn't want her to go there. You put it out. I, I mean, no, but I'm thinking of I'm safety saying, now. Like, no. oh my God, this chicken can come up and like prick your yeah. butt no. or something. Oh my Wait God. And then the little chicken feet. Oh my God. At no. first she and had, feathers. At first she was resistant. Then all of a sudden she 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 flowed with the chicken being all around in the room. Throw the chicken up and. No, they're going to eat that chicken. <laughs> told you. I told you. <laughs> okay. Hey, you guys. This has been Morning Coffee. Our host, Miko. Williams. Thank you, thank we call you. it the all natural day for her because she says, "Look, I wanted. This is who I am. This is how I roll." And she st- uh, stood in and sat in for our host, regular uh, morning coffee host, Mor- uh, Mario. Water. Yeah, Mario's getting some. He, man, he's man's been on the go. Man's been on the go. Can't complain. Needs to get that rest. We're gonna need this break. Yes. It's a lot of catch up. But I want to thank you first because. You actually did this on a last minute without any promotion, no preconditions. They don't understand no what I went through. I know. You might as well go and share that too. Right. Now, everybody thinks because I posed all these questions like Max says, Vic is a freak. So you see, it painted me a certain way. I just asked the questions. Notice it's your show. Right. They're not knowing. But I'm the freak. Yeah. It's, need- the, it, it's the other way around. Here's what we do all the time. When we do our sign but off. I always say it takes one to know one. Yeah, so if you're day. listening. Mm. All day. I got, I got questions. Victor, I got your back. Thank you. <laughs> this is where you're going to find out more information about Miko, her blog talk uh, radio show, and wherever you can discover and find her. Here's where you tell people to follow you for your show and the days that it runs. Yes. The days that it runs is Monday, Wednesday, Friday and Saturday from 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And it's on Blog Talk Radio. And you just type in www.blogtalkradio.com forward slash Miko Williams. You can also find me on Facebook and Twitter at Miko Williams Show. And, um, yeah, all of that good old stuff. Now, let me ask you something before. And, yes, we... I do have a website. There you go. The website is www.mikowilliams.com. My name is spelled M-E-K-O, Williams, last name with an S, dot com. 
your most one, your two most popular segment shows tell them without a lot of explanation have been which topics sex and relationship specifically sex and this when we say sex we already know it's sex <laughs> fetish foot fetishes is that the number one right now? it is the number one number one show Not number one blow up on the numbers too there, there you go say hey to norman he just checked in from cleveland uh, about to get off the show now uh, norman i miss you sweetie pie time to go it is time to go hey it's, it's been same a blast time same place just check us out again follow I might pop in if you guys want to see some of the photos that miko took around around pack stereo uh take the, right. the first group is at her facebook location and which yes. one is it it's at uh facebook.com forward slash miko williams 37 sounds like a plan right we got to get out of here you guys it's been a blast mac pmc norm sorry norm you came in on the late freight we're going to get know, you next time norm, what happened i know he's done he's he, that's okay he, he he'll learn diva number two <laughs> <laughs> hey. you know i had to throw that out there i'm yeah. diva number one it's been real you guys we out peace we out peace see you guys <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha.